Hey there, let's play the country for December 13th. Yesterday's answer was Zambia. The Republic of Zambia is a landlocked country in southern Africa bordering the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Tanzania, Malawi, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, Botswana, Namibia, and Angola. Its capital is Lusaka and its population is around 19 and a half million. Zambia was known as Northern Rhodesia from 1911 to 1964. It was renamed Zambia in October 1964 upon its independence from Great Britain. The name derives from the local Zambezi River. Evidence of humans can be found in Zambia dating back possibly as long as 300,000 years. In more recent times, the region was inhabited by the Khoisan and Batwa peoples, and then migrating Bantu people began settling the area around 300 CE. A succession of kingdoms and empires controlled the region containing modern Zambia throughout the following centuries. The earliest European to visit the area was Portuguese explorer Francisco de la Cerda in the late 18th century, and that was followed by other Europeans, notably David Livingstone in 1855. The magnificent waterfalls on the Zambezi River, known locally as Mosi Otunya in the local dialect of Lozi or Kololo, were named the Victoria Falls, after Queen Victoria, by Livingstone. In 1888, the British South Africa Company, led by Cecil Rhodes, obtained mineral rights from the Lozi people. In 1911, Northern Rhodesia was formed as a British protectorate, and in 1923, the British South Africa Company ceded control to the British government. On October 24th, 1964, Northern Rhodesia became the Republic of Zambia, with Kenneth Konda as its first president. At the time, there were over 70,000 Europeans resident in Zambia, and they held a great deal of the wealth. Conflicts with neighboring southern Rhodesia, later called Zimbabwe, continued through the 1970s, followed by an economic crisis when the cost of copper, Zambia's principal export, declined. An attempted coup in 1990 failed, and Kounda, still president, agreed to reinstate multi-party democracy in 1991. He was removed from office in the following election. In the 2000s, the economy stabilized. Zambia's government is currently a presidential representative democratic republic. Zambia's climate is tropical but moderate because of its elevation. There are numerous ecosystems and thousands of identified species in Zambia. Zambia is racially and ethnically diverse and is one of the most highly urbanized countries in sub-Saharan Africa. 73 ethnic groups are represented, most of whom are Bantu-speaking. There's a small population of white Europeans and descendants of Indian and Chinese immigrants as well. Zambia also hosts tens of thousands of refugees from the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Angola, Zimbabwe, and Rwanda. It is officially a Christian nation, but recognizes and protects freedom of religion. The official language is English, though numerous indigenous languages are spoken as well. The main local languages are Nyanja and Bemba. More than half of Zambians live below the recognized poverty line. The economy has historically relied on copper mining. Many traditional arts, including traditional music and dancing, are practiced in Zambia. The culture has evolved as individual tribes and ethnic groups began living together in cities, but ethnic groups also maintain their own cultural traditions. Zambia ranks 154th on the Human Development Index and 160th in nominal GDP per capita. Infant mortality is 40 deaths per 1,000 live births, and life expectancy is 64 years. Zambia ranks 120th on the Press Freedom Index, and the literacy rate is around 87% and rising. So, another victim of European colonization that disrupted a vibrant local culture, but fortunately a lot of that culture appears to survive. So, let's start with Zambia and see where we go. Oh, we're staying in the Southern Hemisphere, but we're leaving Africa. Heading west, so South America. Uh, warmer, but a lower population. Well, there's not that many options. Um, how about, uh, how about Paraguay? Oh, yes! <laughs> That's how it's done! Okay, well, we will learn more about Paraguay tomorrow. In the meantime, feel free to leave a comment here or on today's Wordle video, which is linked in the description, with a suggestion for a starting word for tomorrow's Wordle related to Paraguay, and I will see you then for the next country.